let us consider a point P. Let this be the x axis and this be the y axis and this one the origin. Let us consider a point P with the position vector R from the origin like this. Suppose this point is acted upon by a force F in this direction. Let's call that as F. This point P is influenced by a force F. And if you extend the line like this, this also is the R. And let, let this angle be theta. So the force is acting at an angle theta with the position vector. Now, if you extend the line of action of the force and join it with the origin perpendicular and you have to drop a perpendicular from the origin to the line of action of the force that will be like this. This one is 90. Let's call that point as A. You know torque is equal to torque torque tau is equal to we define torque as force into perpendicular distance perpendicular distance so force into perpendicular distance of the line of action of the force from the origin we have to write we have force f equal to f into perpendicular distance is oa so that's our torque if you consider triangle OAP, consider triangle OAP, if this angle is theta, this angle will be theta, vertically opposite angles. Then sin theta is equal to, you have sin theta equal to opposite side OA divided by the hypotenuse OP implies OA is equal to OP sin theta or OA is equal to, you know, OA is, OP is equal to the magnitude of R. Let's call that as R. R. So, OA equal to R sin theta. Let's call this as equation number one. So, if you substitute the value in here, you get torque tau is equal to F into r sin theta or you can write this as r of sin theta r of sin theta but you know this one is the r and f and theta is the angle between them so r of sin theta is equal to you know a cross b equal to a cross b is equal to a b sin theta a b sin theta I am just taking the magnitude in here. But theta must be the angle between A and B. Similarly, if you consider this as compare A cross B with here, it will be R cross F. So, in the vector form, torque tau is equal to torque tau is equal to R cross F. Clear. Now, if you consider the different cases, if the force is parallel to R or R parallel to F, R parallel to F means theta is equal to 0, then we have torque tau is equal to R of sin 0, sin 0 is equal to 0, there is no torque. So, if the force is acting along the position vector, along the uh, position vector we took, then there is no torque. If R, the, this is the first case, in the second case, if R is perpendicular to F, which means theta is equal to 90 degree, we have torque is equal to R of sine 90. In this case, sine 90 equal to 1, torque equal to R of, here the torque is maximum. So, maximum torque acts when 
this position vector and force are perpendicular that is if r is like this f should be perpendicular to r in this case the torque is maximum and if you take theta equal to 180 degree 180 degree you will get torque equal to zero since sin 180 equal to zero clear